Wednesday night, yeah. It was a cold November. In the Pacific Northwest, colder than normal. And Sally would have been content to spend the rest of this morning under the covers, but the little one growing inside of her wouldn't have it. Normally, she wouldn't worry too much about her baby's movements because, after all, she was still a couple months away from the delivery date. But this pregnancy was anything but normal. Her doctor had even started her on an antidepressant to try to balance out her moods, but she was still so unpredictable from day to day. And then there was the insatiable cravings for red meat. Not just red meat, but very, very rare red meat. The bloodier, the better. She closed her eyes and started to hum her son's favorite bedtime melody, hoping to lull the little one back into a deep slumber. All at once, Sally's eyes flew open and the air was pierced with a bone-chilling scream. At first, Sally wasn't sure the scream was coming from her. It sounded so distant, so foreign. But when the pain registered, she knew it had been her that screamed. The pain was familiar because after all, this wasn't her first time having a baby but the pain led way to a paralyzing fear. A fear that gripped her more with every second. The baby was coming. With no warning, the contraction started and left her with no choice but to push. This couldn't be happening. She was supposed to have weeks before going into labor, but it was happening. Another contraction, another scream, and with no other choice, another push. For a second, Sally thought that she must have passed out. She was dizzy, but she knew that her baby had been delivered. She could feel him moving below her. When she reached down, her first thought went to the blood. So much blood. Too much blood. When she picked him up, she heard what can only be described as a snarl, and his skin felt like cold rubber. As she raised her little boy up to get her first look, looking at her were two sets of eyes. Angry, hungry eyes. <laughs>